Well, good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this uh, Thursday morning. Lots of clear skies and sunshine to begin our day. The winds are fairly light as well. We are going to start to see clouds on the increase over the next few hours, starting out west and in the southwest. So those are the first areas that will become partly the mostly cloudy. Most of central and eastern Nebraska will see a sunny morning, but then the clouds will move in later on today. Meanwhile, the winds are going to pick up speed a bit out of the east and the southeast at around 10 to 20 miles per hour, so a bit on the breezy side this afternoon. Much uh, different than yesterday's where it was just light winds all day long. Now, we could start to see some showers kind of underneath me here, uh, basically in southwest portions of Nebraska. Um, we may see a few light showers later in the day. Uh, not a great chance, though. You uh, draw a line from around Ogallala to Holdridge to Hebron and go south from there. That's your chance of some light showers. They'll continue into this evening. But notice the bulk of the moisture will stay to our south. So we're not looking at a lot of moisture, just the clouds. The winds will die back overnight. They'll be lighter. The one thing that we are going to have to watch late tonight into tomorrow morning is the potential for some developing fog. A few models are hinting at it like this one here and that's something that if it sticks around long enough could influence our temperatures. Now again this model shows a little bit of fog. I don't think it'll be a major concern but it's something worth watching Friday morning. It could potentially hold temperatures back. The other thing that we're going to see is kind of a, a weak backdoor a shot of cooler air coming in from the east and the northeast that may cool us back a little bit for your Friday especially in the eastern half of the state. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies return tomorrow, especially in the afternoon. The winds will be lighter tomorrow, which is going to be kind of a rarity in the days ahead. The weather will stay fairly quiet for Friday night into Saturday morning. Mostly clear skies and the winds will stay relatively light. Those winds, though, they'll return on your Saturday. So let's look at your temperatures. First off for today, yesterday was absolutely wonderful, and we see more of the same in store for today. Mid and upper 60s, nearing 70 in a few spots there to the southeast. Out west, maybe not quite to 60 in Imperial. It'll be close. Uh, and in fact, temperatures may even drop late in the afternoon with those thicker clouds. And if uh, rain, any kind of rain moves in, it could be a little bit cooler there late in the afternoon. Heading into tonight then, not quite as cold as this morning. We're looking at lows in the upper 20s and 30s. This is a little bit warmer than this morning. This morning's temperatures are really the coldest that we're going to see in se for several days. Highs tomorrow. I mentioned tomorrow kind of a backdoor cool shot of air. And so eastern Nebraska may be a... 50s for highs, maybe just a little bit cooler, especially if there is fog in the morning. That could influence temperatures quite a bit. Out east or west, excuse me, maybe still to the low 60s and maybe mid 60s. So a little bit warmer out there. Lows tomorrow night back down into the 30s. And then Saturday temperatures take off. They will soar well into the 60s with a few low 70s possible. The winds will start to pick up out of the south. It will be a bit on the breezy side on Saturday. And in fact, the winds may pick up a little bit more. Um, Saturday night before a cold front comes through early on Sunday but this cold front is not much of a front at all it's actually just more of a wind shift line than anything but it could still be breezy on Sunday especially before that that front if you want to call it that comes through but it's still gonna be very mild on Sunday temperatures well into the 60s we may see the cooler air a little more Sunday night where we're back down to the 30s so there's not a lot of real cold air with that at all because uh, we're warming right back up again Monday getting close to 70 again another breezy day and then Tuesday temperatures take off into the 70s the warmest day of the forecast and then things turn a little bit more interesting uh, slight chance of some moisture for Tuesday night into Wednesday liquid precipitation as you see the overnight lows will stay fairly mild but we will be cooler behind that cold front so Wednesday looking at highs in the upper 50s and it looks like we will continue to trend colder later in the week towards Friday uh, or excuse me, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, will continue to get cooler and cooler here and maybe cold enough that uh, as more moisture works in, we're not just talking about rain, but maybe some wintry precipitation. So let's look at two long range forecast models. This is the European model. The chances of rain for Tuesday night and Wednesday, fairly slim. That's why I'm just going with the 20% chance. But again, the cooler air is gonna work in with that. And then we get a little bit of a break before another system. And this one has a little more uh, chance of some impacts. Brings us a chance of rain and snow Friday night into Saturday. And this one's certainly worth watching because it will be all about how much colder air comes with. The colder the air, the better chance of snow. So we could see a variety of precipitation type types. But just remember, any kind of a shift northwest or southeast changes the perspective of what your weather looks like heading into this weekend. But we will have to certainly keep an eye on how things play out here before that system clears out for Saturday night. Now the GFS forecast model, 
Slight chance of rain with the first round, again, Tuesday night and a Wednesday. Not expecting much. It looks like it might be a little busier to the north. And then um, a little bit of a break before the next system comes in. And that one, again, this one's very aggressive with snow for our area for uh, Saturday. So we're certainly going to have to keep an eye on that. Tightly aligned area of low pressure could certainly mean a powerful storm system. Well, we get those a lot of times this time of the year. So we'll have to watch it. There's nothing set in stone with our forecast right now. But uh, this could mean... The, if, the, if the American forecast model, this GFS here, plays out, this could mean the potential for a pretty decent snow for our area and maybe some wind to go along with it as well. And I'll just remind you, March is one of the most active times of the year when it comes to uh, snow. We usually see some of our biggest snowstorms in the month of March. I'm not saying that will happen for sure yet. Again, it's all about where exactly the slow pressure uh, system goes, and we are way too early to know where exactly that will go. That thing could end out shifting two or three hundred miles to the northwest and we could get very little out of this system. If it shifts from this model here, shifts more to the southeast, we could miss out on most of the moisture with the system as well. It's got to be a perfect system to set up and we just don't know. It's just too far out. But I'm just letting you know now that it looks like a fairly powerful storm system will be somewhere in the middle part of the country late next week. And if it targets us, we could be talking about rain and or snow for the area. Well, with that, I'm going to let you all go. I want to thank you for watching on this Thursday morning, and I'll talk to you all again Friday to wrap up the work week. Talk to you all later. Take care, and God bless. Bye.